People know cooking. Everybody knows about food and eating, obviously. But the thing we wanted to make sure people were aware that the world of this type of cuisine, it's like, you know, a war zone. It's not cooked. Sorry? Raw. It's not cooked. Today, in particular, my character, David, messes up something, and Sienna's character is on the path. Have you tasted that? And she is just shouting at me, just constantly not letting up in my face. How long do I have to babysit you? It's mama! It's horrible. You feel like you're 10 years of age in, in class, like you've done something wrong. When are you going to do something about Medusa out there? You're pushing her too hard. If you're not careful, she's going to end up like you. And we can't have a kitchen with two of you in it. The end of service, it should be fine. If not, we need to know that. Cut! What I've noticed here is the level of intricacy and detail that John has put into the food, as well as the character. And for me, that's fantastic. Not just the character and the food, but also what stands around it. And I find that so close to what I do. It is what I do, and I'm standing behind the scenes of a movie that is quite difficult for me, to be really fair, because I want to be in there. I want to be in that kitchen. I want to cook in that kitchen. It's a beautiful kitchen. It looks real. It is real. There are chefs in there. There are actors in there. There is real food, and it tastes amazing. The hard part is stepping to one side and letting Bradley take over. I don't find that very easy at all.